This is Technomancer with Zero Point Fuel. Uh, I decided to do a product review here. You're probably going to get a few more of these. As I find these products that I find useful in my own lab, I figure I would cover them in some detail to allow the rest of you to get a first look at them. This is a B35T. And the difference here in this, this is a true RMS meter. This is Bluetooth enabled and not just Bluetooth, it's a 4.0 Bluetooth enabled, which means it's extremely low power, auto ranging meter, it does capacitance, amperage, voltage, hertz, temperature. The real slick thing about this meter is its functionality when it's connected to a tablet. So. Here. Okay, Bluetooth and is, is enabled. We want to pair this device with the Bluetooth. Right now it's scanning for the device. It found the device. And now it's connected. So basically the nice thing here is that this meter could be a few hundred feet away from me and taking a reading and I would get the reading on this tablet which is wireless. Um, I haven't found software to put it on a PC but because I can do data logging from this device and show you here then um, I can re record it bring it in uh, for further evaluation onto the PC. But what it, what's happening here is pretty cool because the tablet not only will log one, but multiple inputs at the same time. So if you have more than one of these meters, you, you can daisy chain them through this device. So you got side by side readings coming from the different multimeters on this tablet. I'm not sure exactly how many, but two to four shouldn't be a problem. You know, you have to worry about bandwidth when you're talking uh, Bluetooth and uh, sort of like a Wi-Fi signal. You know, you, you once you you got a raw data rolling in in real time, you know, it might get a little sketchy beyond a few of these, but. Uh, if you're monitoring and something that's running a, an experiment, it, this is perfect. So I wanted to show you uh, the B35T. It's around forty-five dollars, and this is this is just an Amazon tablet that I uh, bought for forty-nine bucks. So the two of these together is under hundred bucks. Now this is, is a fire tablet, but it is a little different because I've rooted it and uh, I put software on it that allows me to stop it from co constantly updating because obviously when you're running a data loop and trying to get long term data, if it goes into some kind of update mode, that would be a bad thing. But because the device is rooted, I'm running Nova Launcher on here. No more Amazon ads or anything. It's strictly now a scientific device. So uh, I, I wanted to show you this. I'll, I'll put in the description. There's a, a, a good slide I found, the Root Junkie, which is one of the people who provided the software that allows you to root this device. And there's a couple other cool little tools here Let's see, the Purify, when you run Purify, you're basically, it's scanning the device uh, for external connections that it isn't required. And uh, what it does is it shuts those down. Now you can specify which ones you want. In this case, I'd want the Bluetooth, but I don't want all that external stuff affecting the speed of my uh, recording device. So Purify is one and uh, 
One of the other ones here is uh, this is a backup program that lets you back up the tablet and you can remove it to an external device. I put a 64 gigabyte um, mini SD card in this, so uh, plenty of room to store data. It's a handy little thing, and because the Fire is only $49 online, you can buy it, root it, and have a, a, a decent little tablet to record this data. Um, I'll do some other videos on this as I start uh, running tests on the new generator system. I'm probably going to buy a few of these, so I will know at the maximum limit because I want to record amps and volts on the input and the output of the device. So if I can run all that side by side on this tablet, I think that'll be awesome. So look for the other videos. This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel signing out.